Uh, and also, I recommend you when you're just doing this, you should wear the apron. If you don't want to, hey, if you want to, like, right, we'll, we'll see if my outfit <laughs> survives. Then. Hi, I'm Guillermo, senior video producer for Chow Hum. Kimchi has taken over the world. Most people know this popular Korean side dish as fermented cabbage, but the truth is, you can kimchi pretty much any vegetable and fruit. I'm visiting Auto Boy, where chef de cuisine, Young Su, is gonna teach me how to make this Korean staple. Kimchi is so customizable that Napa cabbage is just the start. Learn the principles and you can make it your own. Let's get pickling. Young Su, I'm so excited to learn how to make kimchi, I love Kimchi. I've never tried to make it myself, so this is super exciting. Um, tell me what kimchi means to Korean people. What does it mean in Korea? Actually, Korean people, the kimchi is their like soul food. They cannot eat their meal without kimchi, I think. People just love kimchi and I like kimchi too. <laughs> every house has own recipe and also every region has a different recipe in there. Okay. So I already knew about the kimchi, but at the same time, I'm still learning about the kimchi too. Outside of the cabbage version, which is the most popular one, the one that we all know, yeah. you guys make it with other stuff, right? That's right, that's right. What are the other things that you guys use? Actually, in the auto boy, we're using eggplant, or broccolini, or we're using snappy, or apple, and tomatillo. So there's a lot of ground for yeah, experimentation. We can, we can you can try everything, many different everything, things. Yeah, I think so. Nice. I need to make the glue first. Like glue is a means like make the kimchi juice give some more thickness and also when during the fermentation it's feeding the lacto acid the bacteria as well. Uh, okay, so that's so, like the food for the bacteria yeah, for the fermentation. Yeah, that's right, that's right. What goes in the glue? Just the sweet rice flour and water. That's all. Oh. You can just see like after like cooking it should be very like sticky. Oh, okay, so you start filling yeah. it. Yeah. So this one is the make glue, so it's pretty like sticky texture. After cooking, like after cooking and cool down, it looks like very like glue mm -hmm. itself. It literally yeah. looks like glue. What we're seeing here mm -hmm. is it's a Korean pear mm -hmm. and the mu radish, which is this yeah. big radish here, and the onion in here, mm -hmm. and ground garlic and ground ginger. And actually, normal kimchi in Korea, we use just the scallion and mu, just to cut like just julienne size. Mm -hmm. But in Araboy, we just grind this one with the everything you together. You grind it small. Yeah. I'm curious about the Korean pear. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what the difference is with the American pear that we're used to. Yeah. Is it very different taste-wise? I think it's a pretty different because the Korean one is more juicy and more crunch texture in it, but the, so why don't you can just try this piece. <laughs> Here, let's try it. It's mm. much ju mm -hmm. more juicier than other things, right? Yeah. And you're right, it's less sandy and uh -huh. soft. Like, it's closer to an apple. Yeah. So after that, we can just uh, start mixing with the Your red, chili powder. Yeah, red chili powder. Sugar. And fish sauce. And this one is different type of fish sauce. So you're using two different types of yeah, fish actually, sauce. Yeah, and also... It's a, almost the same, but we're using like Korean one and also like Vietnamese one okay. in our house. What, what are the differences in taste with those two sauces? It's almost a similar. Mm -hmm. I think just a little bit different the saltiness in there. Okay. I just already like grind the Napa cabbage before day because it takes like overnight. It's pretty long time, like five or six hours. So what do you do to brine these guys? I just using the salt water, 10% salt water, and put in the napa cabbage in there, and overnight. After, overnight, and after that you can just uh, taste it. If it's too salty, you can just uh, put in the just regular water, like 
10 minutes. Oh, okay. Just pull out a little bit salt in his outside. So we can start now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. When you just make the kimchi, it's like important to filling inside well to like at the end. Try to get um, yeah. very in here. Yes. Okay. When you put the kimchi in the container, you should put very tightly because it prevents to like oxidizing, uh, oxidizing and mm -hmm. also the as I told you, like the lacto acid bacteria doesn't like the air itself. He hates air. So <laughs> right, that's not where it thrives. Yeah. It needs the humidity and the. Yeah, that's right. So you need to like put very tightly itself and just gotcha. cover with like some parchment paper or like. And try paper. to keep all your yeah. cabbage heads like very yeah. tight and. Yes. After just to make the kimchi, we just uh, reap in the like room temper two or three days. And after that, we just put in the like. Kimchi refrigerator. Most people just using the kimchi after like one week later or two weeks later. But some people want to more like funky flavor. They just leave in the kimchi refrigerator like over one year or two years. Okay. That should be pretty intense like flavor in it. This beautiful spread mm -hmm. proves that kimchi is not just one thing, yeah. right? There's so many things that you can do with it. This is just a grouping of different things that you guys make here at the restaurant, yeah. right? You use different products. I just want to tell you, like, the, the style of kimchi is just for attaboy. Like, I feel like I learned from you the attaboy version to do it, but with that, I have the principles to, in my house, yeah. do whatever I want, kind of, right? I guess we should start with the yeah. cabbage one, since that's the one that we just made. Mm -hmm. Let's see. First. So this <laughs> is a two-week version of the one that we just made. So good. And even though like salty, uh, I mean the salty, but it's pretty crunch, right? Let's move to another traditional version, yeah, which would be the, the white, white one. Kimchi. Almost the same process with the like, that we did kimchi, with the cabbage, but just add a little bit more water. Hmm. You said that this was a winter kimchi, right? Yeah. Let's taste and, uh, apple. Okay. Let's try. Really good balance. Apple is a little bit more sweeter than other mm -hmm. other kimchi, but also like a little bit funkier in here. And, and it does something really good to the to the sweetness of the apple, right? Yeah. It plays with the flavor really well. Okay, now I want to try your favorite mm -hmm. since broccolini. you recommended the broccolini. Mm. It's a very different flavor mm -hmm. profile. Yeah. I think you do want to try eggplant. Okay. Right? <laughs> All right. Mm. So when you just uh, ate kimchi, like first thing is the first text, first flavor in the mouth is like a little bit sour and a little bit spiciness inside. But after that, you can feel like pretty well balanced umami. Mm -hmm. And after that, you can feel just the uh, own ingredients flavor, right? Right. Mm -hmm. What do you recommend we go next? Mm, I think you can try tomatillo. tomatillo. All right. It's more briny and like refreshing the mouth. Yeah. As well. So snappy. It's pretty like new kimchi in our restaurant now. This is one of your new ones? Yeah. Oh, huh? that's pretty great. Yeah, let me have another bite. This is really good. Okay, so last but last not one. least. Oh, the ramp. So I think just recommend you just eat with the Do you want it with the okay. During the fermentation process, mm -hmm. a lot of the flavor from the rams comes into the juice as well. Okay. Yeah. That broth is delicious. Pork belly and some noodles. Yeah, that would work that's too. That's right, that's right. So which one is your best kimchi today? My favorite from the ones that we just tasted? Mm. It's tough. Because they're all really nice. good. There was not a single one here that I didn't like. Mm -hmm. Um I think I'm gonna say the tomatillo. Tomatillo? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's gonna take number one just because I think the interaction of the product itself mm -hmm. with the kimchi fermentation and process and yeah. the seasonings 
it changes the tomatillo profile. Mm. Like it makes it more acidic and it helps the constitution, like the, the, the texture of the tomatillo itself. Like it doesn't loosen it. Yeah. It just feels like tighter even. Very, very tight, yeah. That's right. It's an amazing kimchi. <laughs>